Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be covering SIG codes and Roman numerals. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I'll start with an outline of what's going to be covered in this video. First, we'll look at SIG codes. We'll look at some information in general about the SIG codes and also the five categories of SIG codes, which will co be covered in detail. Then I'll, we'll look at the units of measure abbreviations, Roman numerals, and then we'll give several examples. So first, just some information about SIG codes. So what are SIG codes? SIG codes are prescription abbreviations used by medical professionals. Um, SIG codes are actually derived from Latin medical abbreviations. This is why sometimes they don't seem to make sense to us as an abbreviation. And SIG is actually short for the Latin word signature, which means let it be labeled. So knowing what SIG codes mean is an important skill for data entry of prescription orders. This allows you to communicate to patients in everyday language how to take their medications. So first I'll begin with the time of day and frequency SIG codes. These SIG codes tell when or how often a medication is to be taken. And Q means every. You often see that in these type of SIG codes. So QH means every hour. QAM is every morning, QPM is every evening, QHS means every night at bedtime, QD means every day or once a day, QOD means every other day, QWK or sometimes it's written QW means every week, QMO means every month, Q with a number and a H means every however many hours, for instance, Q6H would mean every six hours. Q with a number and a degree sign, it's the same thing. It means every however many hours. So Q6 with the degree sign would mean every six hours. BID means twice a day. TID means three times a day. QID means four times a day. And PRN means as needed. Next are what I call the extra detail SIG codes. Um, these are just SIG codes that give additional information about how a medication is to be taken or administered. So there's AC, which means before a meal. PC means after a meal. CF means with food. HS means at bedtime. STAT means immediately or now. UD means as directed. WA means while awake. TAT or UAT means until all are taken. AUD means apply as directed. AAA means apply to the affected area. PER means by or through. C means with. S means without. DC means discontinue. TUD means take as directed. And an X with a number and a D means for whatever number of days. So X70 would mean for seven days. Next are routes of administration SIG codes. And we did cover these in our routes of administration video, which um, you can look at that on my, uh, with my other videos. But these SIG codes basically give information about where a medication is to be administered or taken. So PO is by mouth. SL means under the tongue, stands for sublingual. IV means into a vein, that's intravenously. IM is into a muscle, or intramuscularly. SC or SQ means under the skin, which is subcutaneously. OU means both eyes. OD means the right eye. OS means the left eye. AU is both ears. AD is the right ear. AS is left ear. PV means per vagina or vaginally. PR means per rectum or rectally. ID is into the skin, which is intradermal. TD is onto the skin, which is transdermal. This would be like a patch. And IA is into an artery or intraarterial. Next are the dosage form SIG codes. Um, these SIG codes just basically give information about the dosage form of a medication. 
So TAB, tab, is tablet. CAP is capsule. CR or CRE is cream. OINT, oint, or UNG means ointment. LOT means lotion. INH is inhalation. This will be like with an inhaler. INJ means injection. GTT means drop. This will be like for eye drops or ear drops. SYR means syrup. SOL or SOLN means solution. SUPP is suppository. SUSP is suspension. ODT means orally disintegrating tablet. ER is extended release. DR is delayed release. And EC is enteric coated. Those are other ones you may see with a tablet or capsules. Now we'll look at the prescription order SIG codes. These are abbreviations used to indicate details about how a prescription is to be dispensed. So they're not necessarily going to appear in the directions, but they'll be on the prescription. So QS means quantity sufficient. This will be written sometimes instead of a, a specific number. And it basically means just to give the amount needed. DAW means dispense as written. This means to not sub substitute a generic. NR means no refill an R times with a number or an R with a number means to refill it that many times. So R times three would mean refill three times. Now we'll look at some units of measure abbreviations. Um, TSP means a teaspoonful. TBSP means tablespoonful. ML is milliliter. OZ is ounce. MCG is microgram, MG is milligram, G is gram, and U is units. You see this sometimes with insulin. Now we'll look at Roman numerals. Roman numerals are often used in SIG codes to indicate quantities. So SS means one half. Capital I, or sometimes it's written as a lowercase i, means one. V means 5, X means 10, L means 50, C means 100, D means 500, and M means 1000. And you'll usually see on these the lower numbers, so I've given you some more of the lower numbers here as well. Um, II means 2, 3 I's, III means 3, IV means 4, V of course means five. VI means six. VII is seven. And VIII is eight. And IX is nine. Now we'll look at some examples of SIG codes. So if you have a prescription that has II tab POTID, this means take two, that's the II. Tab would be tablets. PO would be by mouth, and TID means three times a day. So the full SIG code would mean take two tablets by mouth three times a day. The next one is I, GTT, OD, BID. I would be one, so it's going to be place one. GTT is drop, so place one drop. OD is the right eye, so place one drop into the right eye and BID would be twice a day. So let's place one drop into the right eye twice a day. We'll look at a few more examples. Um, AAA UD HS times 7D. AAA would be applied to the affected area. UD is as directed. HS is at bedtime and times 7D would be four seven days. So it would be applied to the affected area as directed at bedtime for seven days. The next one is I cap Q4H PRN. I would be one, so take one. Cap is capsule, so let's take one capsule. Q4H is every four hours, so let's take one capsule every four hours, and PRN is as needed. So let's take one capsule every four hours as needed. 
some more examples. I, S U P P, P R, Q I D, P R N. I is one, so it's going to be one. S U P P is suppository, so it's insert one suppository. P R is rectally, so it's insert one suppository rectally. Q I D is four times a day, and P R N is as needed. So it's one suppository rectally four times a day as needed. The next one is 5U, SQ, QPM, PC. So 5U would be inject five units. SQ is subcutaneously, which is under the skin. QPM is every evening. And PC would be after a meal. So it would read inject five units under the skin every evening after a meal. And now we'll look at a couple full prescription examples. The example one, um, our prescription says lisinopril 20 milligram tab, one QAM, number 30, R times three. So this would mean lisinopril 20 milligram tablets. One QAM would be take one tablet every morning, be for 30 tablets, that's what number 30 is, and R times three means it has three refills. And one more full prescription example. This one says amoxicillin 250 mg per 5 ml suspension, 3 ml TID times 10 D, QS, and NR. So this would be dispensing amoxicillin 250 milligram per 5 ml suspension. And the instructions take 3 milliliters, be 3 ml, three times a day, TID, times 10 D would be for 10 days. So three milliliters by mouth, three times a day for 10 days. Dispense the quantity sufficient that you would have to calculate how much you're gonna dispense, and we will have a video on that later on. And no refills would be NR. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful, and please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you.